What's up guys? Terribly Tactical here with another thrilling review of, you guessed it, a Glock. And uh, this isn't any old Glock. This is, uh, well, let's show it to you. Glock! Glock! Alright, let me stop being lame real quick. But yeah, we have the uh, Glock 41 Gen 4. Beautiful firearm. Uh, it's a full size, well, competition size, uh, 45 ACP uh, Glock handgun. Uh, just a great gun. It's new uh, to the Glock lineup as of 2014. And uh, that's when you're watching this video in case you stumble upon it in the future. Uh, magazine capacity is the same as the 23, which is a 40 caliber. Uh, standard magazine ca capacity is 13 plus 1. Although this is for 45, so a lot bigger bullets. Obviously, you got a lot bigger grip. The grip is about the same size as a 17 or a 22. It's the full size grip. The only thing that's different is uh, the length of the slide. So this is going to be the competition size slide, uh, except it does not have the cutouts on the top of the slide, uh, seeing as if it is 45 ACP and the slide is actually as thin as the uh, the 9mm and 40 caliber Glocks. So that's where they're saving the weight on. Um, the reason the slides are cut out uh, on the other ones is to save weight. You see it's got a nice bull nose here on the, uh, the end of the slide. Uh, it's different from most Glocks. I don't know if the other competition series have that. Um, this is the, the only one I've had in my hand that uh, I've seen like that. So there's that. Gen 4, this is what it comes with, same as every other Gen 4. You get the firearm, the three magazines, the uh, the speed loader, so to speak. Again, the most useless thing you get every time you buy a gun. You get, uh, you know, your, your cleaning rod, your brush, your adjustable back straps with the uh, little punch to knock out the roll pin. Paperwork, spent shell casings, you know, egg carton, foam box, all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's a Glock. It uh, It is new because all the uh, previous Glock 45 ACP uh, caliber handguns, the slides were a lot thicker. Um, very much noticeably uh, thicker than, say, the 9 or the 40 caliber Glocks. Um, and that would also, in turn, make the uh, the grips thicker. And they did make slim frames, which would make the uh, grip kind of go back to what it used to be. But you'd still have this big, hunking, uh, thick slide. So, I don't know. They're kind of ugly to me. They're a lot heavier. This is actually lighter, um, being as big as it is, than, uh, I think it's the Glock 21 45 ACP, which is like the same size as like a 19 or a 23, but it's definitely thicker. So... This gun is really nice, as always. Fits great in the hand. You get a full purchase. Uh, it's got the Gen 4 stippling, the raised pyramid pattern. Very grippy. Um, I don't know if you can tell here, but uh, the trigger on this is actually not grooved. And every Glock I've ever picked up has a grooved trigger. And from my understanding, uh, that's part of bringing it into the country is they groove the trigger to make it uh, legal for import. So, I don't know if this is a super rare um, thing and we shouldn't be shooting it or if that's just how they make these. Because um, you can tell it is made in Austria, 45 Auto, 41 Gen 4. So, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen that before, but um, I just noticed that. Same uh, Glock safe action trigger um, with the paddle. Same... Uh, same trigger squeeze, it's about five and a half pounds out of box. Uh, you could put like ghost triggers in there, like three and a half pounds, I think they are, or three pounds, whatever. It's got your uh, standard uh, <coughs> light slash laser mount. Uh, it's pretty big, so it'll be able to accommodate a lot of uh, different lights, TLRs, one, two, threes, um, all that good stuff. And of course, the Glock light that uh, Glock makes, but it's not LED, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, the sights are a little different than most Glocks on this one. Um, they're adjustable. It comes with the uh, tool to adjust them. 
as you can see there I'm assuming elevation and windage for the uh, rear sight there but other than that it's still the uh, the drop in the bucket style uh, of sight so there's that takedown is the same as any other Glock sorry for hitting the tripod there um, the inside is exactly the same you got your dual uh, recoil spring and guide rod and then the barrel the barrel is five inches long so it's the same as a full size 1911 there's uh, the interior of the uh, the grip and uh, it's pretty much all the same if you've seen one gen 4 glass you've seen them all um, but that's the beauty of it they don't change anything they don't fix anything because it's not broken the changes they did make from uh, the Gen 3 is the grip. It's a way better grip. It's a lot grippier. The mag release is a lot better. You get a, a way better purchase on it. Uh, bigger surface area. Um, they made the... Because it is ambidextrous, you could take the uh, the mag release and swap it to the, uh, the left-handed side. The Gen 4 mags are different. They have the cutouts on the mag on each side. Um... If you are a right-handed shooter, you could use Gen 3 mags and previous mags, and they'll all fit. But if you're left-handed and you're switching it over, it's not going to catch. So keep that in mind. You know, same uh, slide stop, all that good stuff. It's a great gun. We took it out. We shot it a bit. It's really accurate. You get a nice long sight radius on that. It's 45. It doesn't kick barely at all, especially with the... Uh, the long slide and the low bore axis of, of the Glock and uh, it just it feels good in the hand and uh, I would have no problem going to war with this thing uh, big old 45 slugs coming out that barrel it's real easy to stay on target uh, me and my buddy Fox tried two three we're getting some good groups out of it at about 15 yards and uh, I don't know it's a really nice gun it's a Glock you can't go wrong with it so if you're in the market for a 45 uh, semi-automatic and uh, you're not going to be buying a 1911 I highly suggest you look at the Glocks um, especially the 41 if you don't mind you know if you're not going to carry it uh, it'd be great for home defense it'd be great for uh, you know any type of combat loadout uh, just going to the range plinking and uh, for competition too although you know for competition you'll probably go with a 9 or a 40 because it'll hold more rounds but uh, you can get extended mags for these. Uh, it's actually going to be the uh, Chris Vector submachine gun mags that you put in there. I'm not exactly sure how much uh, they hold, but I know they hold a decent amount. And actually, Hickok45 uh, showed that in his video on this very exact same firearm. So if you want to see some shooting of it, go check that out. Uh, it's a great gun, super accurate, just like all Glocks, hexagonal rifling on the barrel. And... Uh, it's got the new Gen 4 finish on the slide. It's very resistant to all types of uh, weather elements and and uh, scratches and all that good stuff. So if you're in the market for a 45, I don't think you could go wrong with this one. And that's that. This has been Terribly Tactical with another uh, Terribly Tactical review of the Glock 41 Gen 4 45 Auto. Stay armed. Stay safe. Always be prepared. And don't ever think about treading on me.